Are you ready for a little controversy? Where Madonna goes, controversy follows. But the issue, seeing her at the 2023 Grammys, was that some people didn't even recognize it was her. It gives me great pleasure to introduce two incredibly talented artists who have risen above the noise, the doubt, the critics. Yeah, the focus was supposed to be on Sam Smith and Kim Petras, who Madonna was introducing, and Madonna had opted to intro that performance instead of presenting Album of the Year because she wanted to be part of history, watching the first trans woman perform on the Grammy stage. But Madonna started making headlines for being unrecognizable to some. Daily Mail went into detail about her very smooth visage, sculpted cheeks, and plump pout. One of the scariest moments for me wasn't Sam Smith as the devil. It came with Madonna's general appearance. Piers Morgan was uncensored. She seemed not to have got the memo that Halloween's in October. So about 48 hours after her appearance, Madonna tweeted this photo and wrote, The world is threatened by my power and my stamina, my intelligence and my will to survive, but they will never break me. This is all the test. It's kind of the same sentiment that she shared on stage when she was introing Sam and Kim. If they call you shocking, scandalous, troublesome, problematic, provocative, dangerous, you're definitely on to something. On Instagram, she shared some behind the scenes moments at the Grammys and wrote, instead of focusing on what I said in my speech, which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anyone's face. Once again, I'm caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in, a world that refuses to celebrate women past the age of 45 and feels the need to punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking, and adventurous. I've never apologized for any of the creative choices that I've made, nor the way that I look or dress, and I'm not going to start. I've been degraded by the media since the beginning of my career, but I understand that this is all a test, and I'm happy to do the trailblazing so that all the women behind me can have an easier time in the years to come. In the words of Beyonce, you won't break my soul. I look forward to many more years of subversive behavior, pushing boundaries, standing up to the patriarchy, and most of all, enjoying my life. Bow down, bitch. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can say that. But still, Pierce was back on air about two hours ago, and he ain't bowing down. I think she is an absolute joke now. A, what she done to herself, but B, the constant attention sinking. And Madonna needs to listen to proper friends who say to her, what the hell are you doing to your face, love? Right? Yeah. Look at that. Are women scrutinized for their looks and aging more than men? Absolutely. Has Madonna had to endure ageism and misogyny? Absolutely. Is noticing she's had some work done misogynistic? No. I think once you get into judging that work, then you're moving in that direction. But noticing that Madonna looks different is not misogyny. And sure, you could argue that Madonna feels the need to have procedures done because of the scrutiny that she's under in a male-dominated world. You can absolutely make that argument. But we just have to look at this situation. Madonna looks different. It's okay to notice that. You just don't have to insult her in the process. And Madonna, no, it's not just because of a long camera lens. And there's part of me that wonders if Madonna, not planned this, but was prepared that that would possibly be the reaction to her appearance. Like she would see that she's puffy in the mirror. Some would go into hiding, but no, Madonna is going out on the Grammy stage. So I can see where the New York Times is coming from with their headline, Madonna's new face is a brilliant provocation. So to sum up, Madonna can do whatever she wants to her face, whatever she wants to her body, it's none of our business. But it's okay for us to notice that. We just don't have to insult it in the process of noticing that. Those are my thoughts, what do you think?